Italy doesn't stop to amaze us in this uh, hot season of the summer. We have an explosion of the uh, Stromboli volcano caught on the camera. This is the experimental laboratory of geophysics of University of Firenze. You can see that this is the uh, hot pyroclastics coming down from the peak of the Mount Stromboli, the island of Stromboli, which has a rare, you know, uh, a town down the slopes on the other side of it. From the ground, it looked like that. A four-kilometer cloud of ash rising. The smell of the sulfur is in that region now. You can smell sulfur due to the volcanic uh, gases released. And from the satellite images, we can see that. This is the island of Sicily, where we have the Etna, and the north of it is Stromboli. This is the map I'm showing you. And you can see the cloud uh, of the, due to the paraclastic movement, coming from the direction of the summit of the Stromboli. I zoom on that so you can see it better. Uh, we have a close-up of it also from a satellite image. Again, wrong orientation. On the left side, you see the town. On the uh, right side of the center, you can see the summit with the pyroclastic moving down. This is again from another view. You can see the pyroclastics and the flow of the lava. And this is the uh, Institute, National Institute of the uh, Geophysics and Volcanology of uh, um, Italy showing that from the ground, this is the four kilometer ash cloud we are seeing. Uh, it's a developing situation. I will keep you up to date about this. We had similar to this in the past. Please watch that also. Powerful eruption of a Stromboli volcano. People waked up and saw that the Stromboli is in eruption. That is again on the side of the volcano. This is the beginning of it, how it was. If you missed it, that's it. You will not see it. I'm speeding it up just for making the video the shorter. Why this is erupting all the time on that flank? The Stromboli is, not, is higher than that. You know, you can see the actual summit further up. Why it is erupting here? I have, I have a theory, and that is that the magma cannot rise to the height, to full height of the mountain. One reason is that this side of it is always have erosion toward the sea, as you can see here. You can see lightning over here. Just watch. So, this side is always eroding and always removing material from the volcano. You can see the summit to the left, actually, you saw that. So, this side is always less weight on it. And that's the reason eruption always happens there. Magma easily can remove the remaining part of the top of the uh, volcano and just comes out of that. Easy, easy peasy, as you say, should say. <laughs> so it comes around there because the material from there is already removed and it's easy for it to just erupt from that shorter route than climbing up, up to the uh, full height of the mountain. And this is this is how it works in my in my theory in my understanding that is the way people woke up to this big column of the ash and fire into the sky satellites were able to pick it this is the sentinel this is the african plate pushing against the eurasian plate in italy it creates a lot of volcano subduction causes these pimples in the earth crust to rise stromboli is a beautiful one very active also lightning all the time 